Okay, so if you're somebody dealing with chronic pain and fatigue issues, doing a reverse fly could be very, very taxing on your body and on your neck in particular. So a reverse fly is basically, you're half bent over, you can also feel it in your low back, which can be painful, and it's straight arm reverse fly. I can already feel that one. It's very, very difficult to do that. So a couple good modifications is basically you can work the same muscle group, but you can do a double arm row, and you're gonna pull both arms back so that your elbows try to touch each other behind you, but keep those weights high out in front of you. Because if you bring the weights down here, then you're gonna work more the side and lower back. So you wanna keep those weights out in front of you and pull them back. Now this is a great one you can do seated as well if it's difficult for you standing. Okay, so the next thing you can do if you don't want to use free weights or you don't have free weights at home, you can come down onto your stomach and you can do those reverse flies on your stomach without weight. So you're gonna take those arms out into airplane position I'm gonna lift those arms up off the floor and then pull back. Again, you can rest your head and chin on the mat to support you if that's too difficult as well. Great. Okay, so the last little modification you can do is seated. And for this one, you won't need weights either. So this one's great. You can do this anywhere, anytime. So for this one, you're gonna bring your arms out in line with your chest, chest level. Your palms are gonna be facing the floor. And then you're gonna pull those arms back, like in bow and arrow arms, squeezing your upper back together, that's the key. And then push them forward, cross, cross, pull back, cross, cross, okay? So it's a pull, squeeze, cross, cross, pull, squeeze, cross, cross. You're also gonna get the added benefit of working your shoulders.